Yes! Oh, I like I like the combat system. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Conan Exiles. We're back with Conan. We played Conan when it originally came out on Steam the first time on Early Access and we played quite a bit of it, but it got into a point where things got too much and it took too much time and we, we kind of just kind of fell out of it, I suppose, like, you know, like out of the game and it fell into the background, but it's now going to be fully released on the 8th of May and they have a new system in it. And when I heard about that the first time, I was watching Cage playing it and he was talking about a purge system. So I just checked the settings and the purge system is now a system that over time you accumulate points and once you reach a thousand points or whatever the equivalent is, um, something will come for you and try to destroy you as far as I understand it. So this is really, really cool. And based on this alone, I was like, oh, that is interesting. I really want to experience that. So before the release is out on the 8th, so I don't look like a complete damn ass uh, when we get to that date, I'm going to play it on single player for a little bit and get to know the ropes again and see what all that purge thing is about. So we're going to start a new game. We're going to start a new character. This is my character. Um, the race that I picked is Nordheimer just because I find the look the best that I was picking. And um, there's a new god since I played it last, which is the frost giant ice cold. So we're going for that. And we have, of course, this Cutting savage down. voice. And Please. we're going to leave everything else as is. Now, um, finalized character. There we go. And we're going to name her Kicks. End of story. Kicks it is. Condemned to death and exile for crimes including poor use of punctuation, strangling a moneylender, and lewd behavior with corpses. Okay. Any who remove this body, living or dead, from the cross will be flailed alive. Well, if they're dead, then... Them. Okay, anyway, along with all the members of the family. Oh, my dead body. Okay, yes, excellent. Yes, confirm that. Thank you. And here we go. During the year of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings, until fate intervenes. That's new. I haven't seen that before. Oh, don't have the nibbles. <laughs> Are you thirsty, dead woman? Yes, indeed I am. Shall I cut you down? from that corpse tree. Uh, yes, please. It might kill you. You civilized women are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. Don't hurt me. Where I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We Ooh. don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs. So, you live again, dead woman. And so I am. Live to die another day. This land does not love men. Live, love, burn with life, slay and survive. We will meet again, dead woman. Holy balls. Is a tat of a sandstorm. Just a bit. Oof. 
Ooh. Saved only to die in a sandstorm. That is new. I haven't seen that before. That is pretty awesome. So last time I played, I think they literally just introduced climbing. And that was the last time I played. So I haven't actually played the Frost uh, expansion. So a lot of things are different uh, to me. So let me just have a look around and get used to the controls. And let me change some sound um, because it's pretty loud. It's a bit uneven. So I need to fix that. And I see you guys in a second. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So the intro might be a little bit loud. <laughs> I try to lower it um, up to this point and go from there. But we have to look around. We can't go back. We have to go forward um, because of our bracelet or whatnot. Do we have... Oh, yes, we have first person view. Very good. I like it. Oh, nice. Look at her. She's like a ninja. Wow. And... Oh! What the hell? Look at that girl. Oh, yes! She knows what she's doing. And she can kick as well. Okay, there's definitely a few new things been added since... Oh, what is that? What is that? Can I pick that up? Yes, you gained a level. Okay, yes, I we... Left to rot among the ruins of the past. There are others here. Slaves. Bandits and cannibals. Exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland. Scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glitter of spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence. And this cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Well, thank you. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. Okay, so that was interesting. I like that. Ooh, look at that. Sprint hold. We have jump, E, interact. So it is pretty much in that sense like arc. If you haven't seen it before, it is very arc-like in the sense of how you interact with resources and all that. But the building system is always something I really, really enjoyed in this game. It is uh, much, much easier and much more... Um, is a friendly now because we're playing this before the 8th of march uh, before uh, sorry the 8th of may and we want to get as much through this as possible to see what it's all about um, i have increased some of the experience um, uh, multipliers i've increased some of the harvesting multipliers and all that jazz so that way we don't have to worry too much about you know wasting a lot of time waiting on things and we can get into things like and check them out because for me it's very important that i actually get to see them and check them out now, mind you, I don't know if that has an impact on the perch system. I don't know even where the perch system is. We're going to have to find the settings. But one thing I want to do first is to get out of this area. Oh, there we have wood. Because as far as I remember, being in this area for too long is not very good. It's very detrimental to your health because, well, drink and food and all that jazz. There we go. Nice. I think we just follow the path, really, and that's it. I like the way it looks, so let's see if we can... Actually, let's have a look and see if we can find a little bit of information on the UI. Tab doesn't do anything. I... Oh, inventory. Here we go. I might actually have to ch change these keys around. Like, tab should always be my... Oh, look at that. A handful of insects. We can eat them, and they have a, a, a timer how to go off and everything, and how to uh, rot. Okay, here we have the drink, so let's put that there. And let's see, attributes. Oh, that is all different now. We have strength, agility, vitality, accuracy, grit, encumbrance, survival. And then we have different levels. Survival is a measure of your ability to live in harsh condition. It affects how easily you metabolize food. Okay. Hard worker, you have resources not twice as fast. Efficient butchery. Oh, okay. So this is basically increasing how we get food and how we um, deal with hunger and everything. Encumbrance, that is always something very important and grit which is determines the size of your stamina pool very nice accuracy determines the damage to do with ranged weapons i don't know yet if i'm gonna go range or melee usually i like melee but we'll see vitality determines the size of your health pool always very important agility the measure of ability to move when wearing different clothing types it has different effort effect on armor cut like falling damage is halved oh this is definitely something i want 
Strength determines the damage that you do in melee. Okay, so we have that. And then we have feats, which is your engrams equivalent, I would assume. So feats like hands. And you just select them. Now, one thing that I really like about this, and uh, this is really handy, is when you learn one of those things, you learn like a whole bunch of things. Like, so you don't have like 50 engrams like to worry about things, which is really nice. So if you, for example, learn Apprentice Mason, you learn all that. Okay, and you can see here also what the prerequisite of things is and all the all the chats. I think we already know that actually, um, because it's brown. Is it brown? Oh no, there's 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 the reason for the different colors. I think it. I don't know exactly. I don't remember right now. But I think some indicate that we already know them. I think the green one means we already know it. The brown one means we can learn it right now, and the red means that we can't learn it yet. I think so. I think that's what it was. And then we have our stats, which is our combined um, overview of our character. Very nice. And our journey. Look at that. Chapter one. This is a dangerous place. Drink, eat. So this is kind of like your achievements, is it? Well, we get through it. We'll see. Clan. We have to We have to create a clan at some point as well. Okay, excellent. Oh, Tab actually gets through the different areas. Okay, and then this is the map. This is where we are. The broken, the broken highway. Okay. We have to get down to the water and we have to get there quickly. Oh, look at that. I can put marks on it. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay, let's leave it and let's continue because we are getting thirsty. On the top left, we can see... Oh, hello. Let's eat something. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we can see on the top left is obviously my health pool, my stamina meter, and then below that we have our thirst, which I'm gonna drink a little bit. And our thirst, our hunger, and our weight, and then our temperature. Okay. So what do we have here, dude? Do you have a weapon? No, but you have a book. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingle with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire, or the bite of the axe. Okay, so that was his journal. I'm just crafting a couple of things like ammo. Crafting a tool. Okay, we have our tool. A leather journal. Okay, I don't know exactly what that is all about yet, but... Oh, nice. Look, she puts the ammo actually on as we craft it. And we don't slow down as we craft things. That is nice. We can still run around. I'm probably going to die pretty quickly in the beginning, but I do like that I can run like a maniac. Well, until my... Um... Ooh, out of stamina. Look at that. The screen is going all gray. And then... Ooh, it replenishes. It replenishes rather quick. So that's okay then. Now, let's see, can we actually ki Oh, nice, we're already getting stone, that is awesome. That is pretty cool, I like that. And how do we put things away? Let me see, oh, that's chat. I don't want to turn chat on, I want to turn chat off. Oh, we ha oh, look at that. That is where we have to go. Oh, my chat is going slowly away, okay, thank you. Okay, so let's go through this area here. Now, because this is going to be the first episode and I'm still going to have to relearn the game, feel free to absolutely hammer me in the comments telling me what to do, what to look out for, if there's anything you want me to know about. I know there's a lot of caves with bosses and all that, and I don't know if you can solo them. I know you can play the game single player as we do right now, but oh, we discovered the Shattered Bridge. So let us see on the map where that is. Shattered Bridge, okay. Let's uh, get some wood, I suppose. I don't know what I prefer. I usually, I, I like first person when I do a lot of things. Um, but for a lot of other things, I prefer uh, third person. Like when I'm walking around and I'm going to fight, third person is kind of what I prefer. So let me see what we can craft. Can we craft a weapon? Um, twine, rawhide bedroll. We don't have a weapon yet. Oh, the altar of... Ymir. Well, I went with the Frost God, so I'm assuming Ymir is our Frost God altar. A place of sacrifice to Ymir the Frost Giant. Items required stone, wood, and twine. That is very good. We can do that, but we don't do that right now. There we go. Weapons. Only weapons. So it considers all that weapons. That does not make sense. Okay, fair enough. 
it sorts it by weapons first. Well, we can make a torch, which is really good. Now, I also changed the day-night cycle because I don't think this game has anything where you must be at night. Oh, look at that. Nice. And I like that you actually can have a tool and this at the same time. That is pretty awesome. I like that. But how do we put things away? Okay, we just click on the number again. Fair enough. Ooh, there's eggs. Nice. What the hell? Who's saying oh? Woo! Okay. Lady, don't test me. Curse you. Okay, okay. Yes! Oh, I like I like the combat system. It feels way more dynamic and, and impactful. Like, you actually feel like you make a difference when you're hitting and dodging. I remember when I played it last, the dodging was, like, really weird and it didn't really work. Ah, okay, okay, let's fo careful with our stamina. Come on, come on, get some stamina back. Ah, here we go, here we go. Okay, we're gonna have to time this. We're gonna have to let her... Oh, I walked right into that. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's time it. Let's... Can we eat and heal? Whew. Okay, that was nice. That was awesome. It really felt like you're making a difference. Okay, F is loot all. Excellent. Can we use her meat? Is that something we can do? Human flesh? Okay. We might actually just drop the human flesh. How do we get out of combat stance? I'm over encumbered. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can drop all the meat, I suppose, because we don't really need that. At least I don't think we need that. Well, not yet anyway. Because... What the hell is that noise? I'm over encumbered. I do not want to fight right now. Let me get rid of all this meat. There we go, we dropped it. Oh, eggs, nice, we can eat eggs. I'm still over encumbered, what is so heavy? And why do I have five skulls? I, I killed one person. Can I sort by weight? Heaviest first. Oh, the height, and oh, we have loads of stones. Okay, so, um, can we split stack? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're at 91%. We're back to normal weight. Wow, okay, that I suppose comes with multipliers. Um, let me see here. We have a lot of time on our hands. Now, actually, we need drink. So I think... How do we heal? Do we just eat to heal? No. Okay, let's see if we can get some water. Yes, we filled up the pouch. Very good. And we might as well drink. Lovely. So let's see where we are. Interesting. I want to go more over there. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's a big guy. My health is slowly getting up. Does it help me if we um, crouch? Can we heal faster if we crouch? Just looking around, making sure that... I can see a timer there on the top left, which is like a white line. Is that? Oh, that's my experience, probably. You can see on the very top, just above the health. So like a white line. We're taking this very slow, guys, because I'm not sure um, what exactly to do. Journey, climb. Oh, how do I climb? Okay, let's put, the, put that away. Oh, my balls. You just jump up on the wall and climb, and your stamina goes down. That is amazing. That is awesome. Use a bed or bedroll. We're going to do that now in a second. Ah, uh, the broken bridge. I think I remember where I built my first base. So what the first thing we want to do is maybe make a little hovel or something. Something small, something nice, you know, just to start with. And then maybe pick something here in the middle. I definitely want to go in the middle of the islands here somewhere because I think that's where I originally built. And if nothing changed, I remember vaguely resources being up here. So maybe building here could be a good idea. Can we see a marker? Can we make a marker? Marker name, test, done. Oh, nice. Can we see the marker in the world? 
Okay, you're gonna have to stop turning that, that, that sound on. And nobody wants to talk to me. I'm alone on the server. Ah, uh, balls. I hope he can't climb. Okay, and I can't jump. Okay, he definitely, he can't climb. He's not gonna come up. He's like, he's a bit of a sissy. I don't think he can climb. Good. And he has a sword, and I have low health. So, two things that are not gonna mix. So let's see if we can actually get something for healing. Attributes, feats. Um, is there a search anywhere? No? Okay, so let's see. Apprentice masonry. Well, that is the first thing. So to craft. Okay, we have to unlock that. Knowledge point spent. Decoration. We don't really need decoration, but we need to make a campfire. So we have to unlock that. And a box maker. Yes, we want to unlock that. Well, if we want to make torch, I suppose. And we're going to have to learn that. Why is that not unlocking? What do we need for that? It requires torches. Oh, look, it actually goes into the different trees then under survival. Bed. Oh, yes. Bed is something we need. And we don't need to go into... There we go. Bandages. Nice. What do we need for bandages? Survivalist. Yeah, I learned survivalist. So why can I not make bandages? I need to be level 25 to make a bandage. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, fair enough. I get it. I get it. Iron tools. Okay, so in the moment, we're not going to heal much. We're going to have to eat, I suppose, to heal. Okay, that's the only way to do it. Okay, so let's actually look if we can craft a little or build a little area here. So, I think all we need really right now is a 3x3. Three three. That would actually be enough. So, let's put it right here. Nice. So, what else do I need for it? Okay. Maybe it's a 5x5. Five five. I don't know. We'll see. What do I need to craft it? I don't have enough resources. Okay. Foundation. I need stone and wood. So I have a lot of wood. I just don't have a lot of stone. So what I probably should do first is make a box and put it on top of my area, which is wood and twine. So how do I make twine? Okay, 47. Yeah, craft all of them. Absolutely. Let's craft all of them. And then craft a box so we can put everything else in. A century egg? What is that? I don't know. I have no idea. Dark green egg smelling of ammonia. Okay. We nearly finish. Okay. Excellent. So let's uh, build the box. Where's the box? Do I not build the box? I told I build a box. There we go. I like you can probably go. Yes, I love it. You can go into a uh, vanity cam. And you can perfectly align it up. That is awesome. There we go. Nice. And now, let's see, open it. Excellent. Now we can put in, let's see, T. No, how do we transfer things? Shift, left, click. Okay. Let's put all that stuff away we don't actually need right now, like the journal and the scrubbled note, the eggs, the seeds, the branches we need, and wood. Okay, excellent. So now let's get some stone and let's get some wood so we can get the show on the road. Well, we have wood, so let's get some stone. And I suppose while we do that, let's craft up some more of those guys. There we go. Nice. Make one more here. I don't know how walls work. How do walls work? We'll see. See how walls work? Oh, wall. There we go. 
Well, we need at least six, so it's gonna be fine. Oh, nice. They actually go on the outside, so I wasn't sure if I have to make an extra foundation or not. Okay, nice. And we can turn them. Outer face, outer face. Oh, I love that. This is so nice about this building system that it tells you what side is facing at you in the moment, which is really, really nice. That is sweet. Excellent. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't damage your own thing. Okay, so let's get more resources. We need more stones. We need, we have four, we need, let me see. We need another two, and then another three. So we need five more. And how many stones do we need per foundation? Well, we can make four in the moment. There we go, make five. Then we also need a door frame, so we can craft that. And we need a door. There we go, simple wooden door. Perfect. And we're probably gonna make more walls because I like things to be quite high. But more importantly, is a bed. There we go, what do we need? Oh, we need height. So why don't we have a folded bed, a Stygian bed? Ooh, and we need a lot of height for either of them. That's not good. Oh, nice. A fiber bedroll. So we need some fiber, and that is one use. Is it a mattress, leaves, twigs, grass, twine, branch, item requires? It doesn't really say information. A rawhide bedroll for sleeping on the ground. Well, we have some height, but you know what? We're going to use that first, and we're going to save the height for afterwards. So let's get that stone. There we go. And let's get that plant fiber going. Sweet. There we go. Nice. So we have... Come on. What does that mean? I can't place it here. Hang on. Huh. That is so weird. Okay, fair enough. We're gonna go this way then. Excellent. And now walls. Outer face is facing out. I think I want my main door to be facing this way because that is where north is and that is where we most of the time are going to make our way to new adventures in the, mo uh, in the beginning. So let's make the door frame that way. Nice. Walls. Walls. And do we have any windows? Because it would be good to have a window, maybe? One, two, three. Or oh, let's see if there's windows actually to make. I'm probably going to leave a lot of things uncut in this uh, video. A window, we can't make a window. So maybe that's another feat. Let me see. We have construction. It would be really, really nice if you could search this. So this is a fence, this is a roof. Gates. Yeah, I don't see any windows here. Let's see, cornerstones. No, I don't see anything here, but warrior weapons. Yes, we definitely want to unlock that. And the bow and... Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for... Spear would be nice though. Spear would be nice. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let's not, let's not get too sidetracked. Okay, so walls. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. In future, I will cut out probably a lot of the building. Like, I will do building because I know you guys really enjoy the building. Uh, well, you did in the past anyway in, in this game. So, I'm assuming that hasn't changed. So, but let's see. Look at that. Nice. Awesome. Let's see if we can have some more walls. Nope, just one. Because I like... I don't like things being... being low. Oh, what is that in the middle there? Huh. Could that be the perch meter? It's empty. 
Hmm, we'll see. Okay, let's craft the bed first. Okay. Info. A hastily gathered bundle of fibers stripped from the plants and vegetation that dot the exiled lands. This bed will offer very little in the way of warmth and protection. It's probably better when lying on the hard ground, though. Slightly, when somebody dies in the exiled lands, they awaken in the last place they slept, unaware of how or why they got there. Using a bedroll will set it as your spawn point temporarily until you have died once. Okay, so this seems to be a one-off thing. So why don't we craft another one so we have one in the chest straight away? Just in case we don't have the resources for it when we actually die. Always have a backup. There you go. No. There we go. Put that bed in here and put the fiber in there as well. And maybe half the wood. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Um, yeah, I think we should just have it right here by the door. No, I don't actually like lying straight by the door. It's, it's not something I enjoy. There we go. Nice. Spawn point updated. Nice. So now, hold E for more options. We can either dismantle it, return it to the inventory, or interact with it. Spawn point updated. Nice. So we don't actually sleep in it. That is really cool. I think for the first episode... This is something that we should leave here. We have a tiny little makeshift shelter, which is not finished yet. We have a storage box. We have our bed. We have drink nearby. And we need to make a campfire as well to make sure... Oh, we need more stone. That we have enough food. So that's, that's the next mission. But anyway... I'm gonna leave this here guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more Let me know in the comments what you think and what you would like to see if you have any tips and hints But we do play we are going to play through or oh, actually I can just pick that up with E probably yeah <laughs> We do play through this as much as possible until the 8th and the plan is then to have a server Up and running for the other guys which is cage and bloodstalker all these guys who if they want to can play on it and um, Go from there that would be actually a good idea. Oh, nice. Look at that. There's some free food going. Nice. Love it. Excellent. Anyway, I'm gonna leave here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. Okay, we have a sword. Do you want to go? Oh, I feel so powerful now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry little dude. What did we get? We got a little bit of string. Did we get some flesh, some meat? We got some feral flesh. Can we cook it? Feral flesh. Info. Raw meat is dangerous. The flesh is harvested from small animals. It's not particularly filling or flavorful. Unless this meat is cooked quickly, it will spoil. Okay, let's see if we can cook it. It would be good if we can cook it. Let's see. Nice. That is awesome. Look at that. Lovely.